Press the wizard button. Select the Run All Wizards option. Select the New Settings option to set up a new system. Select your input configuration. This lets the PA2 know how you've connected your mixer. Select your input GEQ configuration. I like mine stereo linked. Select your main speaker brand and model. Are you using subs? Then select yes. Select your sub speaker brand and model. Select your sub speaker configuration. I'll select stereo subs. Now select your high amplifier brand and model. Set your high amp sensitivity to match the sensitivity setting selected on the PA2 display. Set your high amplifier attenuators to match the setting shown in the bottom right hand corner of the PA2 display. Select the low amplifier brand and model. In my case, I selected powered subwoofers, so my low amp option has already been selected. Set your low amp attenuators to match the setting shown in the bottom right hand corner of the PA2 display. To apply all these changes, select Yes. If you have the DBX RTAM measurement microphone, select Yes and connect it to the RTA mic input jack on the front panel of the PA2. Place the RTA mic in a mic stand and place it out in front of the speakers so that it forms an equilateral triangle, as shown in the diagram on the PA2 display. The PA2 will now help you balance the left and right sides of the sound system and automatically balance the crossover gains. This will balance the system before running auto EQ. Select how many measurements you would like Auto EQ to analyze. I'm going to select four, as this provides the most accurate system EQ. The PA2 now prompts you to place the RTA microphone at position one. But since this is the same mic position we used before when running level assist, we can leave the mic where it is. Auto EQ will now take its measurement of the first mic position. We're now prompted to move the RTA mic to position 2, as shown in the diagram on the PA2 display. Once the mic has been moved, press select to take the second Auto EQ measurement. We're now prompted to move the RTA mic to position 3, as shown in the diagram in the PA2 display. Once the RTA mic is in place, press the select button to take the third auto EQ measurement. Now move the RTA mic to position 4, as shown in the diagram in the PA2 display. Once the RTA mic is in place, press the select button to take the fourth auto EQ measurement. Auto EQ will now analyze all four measurements and calculate your EQ settings. And here's the resulting auto EQ response curve. Lastly is the advanced feedback suppression wizard. Before you start the AFS wizard, you will want to do a sound check and set up a rough mix on all microphones which will be active during the performance. 
If there are any active noise gates on any of the microphones which will be used during the performance, these noise gates will need to be bypassed or disabled before running the AFS wizard. This includes any vocal effects processors which may have a built-in noise gate. Fully lower your mixer's main output faders. You can now select whether you'd like to use the default number of fixed filters, which is six, or manually select how many fixed filters you'd like to use. I'm going to select yes, because I like to use six fixed filters for ringing out the system, and then have six live filters available for on-the-fly protection during the performance. You can now select the desired AFS filter width. I'm going to select the music option, which provides the most precise and inaudible feedback suppression. You are now prompted to slowly raise your mixer's main output faders. This will induce feedback so AFS can detect it and suppress it. This allows you to squeeze a little more gain out of the system before feedback. Stop raising the faders once the fixed filters are all set. You're now prompted to set the mixer's main output faders back to performance level. This is the same level they were set to when you performed the rough mix and sound check before running AFS, and is typically around unity gain, or zero, on your mixer. You can now see the AFS filter details in the display. That completes all the wizards in the PA2. To store the preset, press the store button three times.